Hi Capricorn, welcome to your November reading. I hope that you're having a really great day. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your love and your support. We're going to see what messages need to come through for you for the month of November. See what you can expect, get you some insight, get you some guidance, and overall see what's going on, what the vibes are looking like for you in November. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. And yeah, let's get into this reading. I think this deck is ready. That was fast. We have the Singer of Connection coming on out. We have number six. Show me clearly what is going on for Capricorn in November. Y'all, that really just smacked me in the face. Honesty just came out. Honesty is gonna slap you right in the face. <laughs> All right, so there's honesty coming through about a certain connection. You're gonna be, what's this card that tried coming out? Gluminous Doom? I'm not gonna take it. It tried to come out. You might be kind of in this energy right now. Look at this card. Feeling kind of like doomsday. Feeling like, oh no, something's been spilled. Something's been lost. What, it's, what, what are we gonna do? What's gonna happen? Maybe you're really in your head about something or someone. All right, tell me what's going on for Capricorn. Thank you. Penelope Dreamweaver. Okay. There's something going on between like, you know, reality versus fantasy. There's something about that with honesty to Penelope Dreamweaver. And this is surrounding some sort of connection in your life here. All right. So... Capricorn, in the month of November, you're being asked to either be honest with yourself or be honest with someone. Um, there's a lot of dreams that you have. There's a lot of daydreaming. Okay, with Penelope, the um, the dream weaver, this is really bringing in your hopes, your dreams, your desires, things that you've been very wishful thinking of and imagine imagination. You know, um, like kind of fairy tale like energy. This can be very. Um, it can be kind of like poetic, it can be very mystical, it can be very much like romantical, fantasizing kind of vibe. And it kind of feels like there's a reality check or with the honesty card, it's almost like your bubble's being popped or this like fantasy is being popped or I don't know, something's catching you by surprise though. When we look at honesty, now this card comes out obviously when there's the need for truth, there's the need to come clean, there's something that you gotta bring light to, there's something that you have to discuss. This could be just something you gotta face within yourself um, or this could be something that you need to face or discuss with a person and it's interesting with the Singer of Connection and Penelope the Dreamweaver, these cards they're kind of similar, like from a, from a distance, like if I hold it way back here, it almost looks like the cards are the same, right? Looking at my screen, but obviously they're, they're different. But so there's like this dream connection or there's something you've been like fantasizing about or someone you've been fantasizing or imagining like a future with or like imagining how things should be. And if it's not a connection, then take that out of the picture. But there's something that you've been like really dreaming about having right there's this deep like longing kind of hmm so we'll see okay so that's kind of like overall vibe um bottom of the deck we have luthas the wild number 57 see i'm like my my eyes are really oh whoa huh where'd you come from i'll be the retreat oh okay there's something here that's being reviewed there's something here that you're taking a look at Maybe where things went wrong with the soul shrinker. Maybe things that you regret saying or wish you could have said. But maybe you never had the opportunity to. And so, ooh, maybe going through Honesty and Penelope the Dreamweaver. It's like you've been... Some of you have been having dreams of, like, possible scenarios or possible outcomes. Or, like, you know, your subconscious is trying to, like, put the pieces together. Trying to, like, figure something out. Or trying to deeply understand something. Or, like... Basically here with the soul shrinker to LB the retriever, there is an opportunity for you to revisit something that went sour or like it shows that there could be a second chance or with LB the retriever, this energy where it's just like something you thought was gone, done, over, dead, flatlined. Um, this is about reviving or renewal. It's like an energy of like a second chance or something that you lost, it comes back or like something that you thought was gone you stumble across it again or somehow you find it again even for those that have been kind of struggling with your own hope or 
personal issues is like you somehow find that that hope again or like you're feeling more optimistic about something with Luthus is a wild that's kind of like about taking a a wild chance it's a wild card it's like you know expect the unexpected this is kind of like when you need to listen to that urge if you get like the sudden feeling to do something or to reach out to someone or like that kind of energy um the author the illustrator the creator of this deck literally wrote in the description where it's just like there's someone that met this person and like within 15 minutes this person knew like that person's the love of my life like i gotta make a move and they did and then they end up getting married and they've been together for like 30 some years or something like that that's what the author wrote about with this card sometimes you gotta just take a chance even though you may feel like oh what if i'm being foolish for this or what if i'm gonna be judged or what if i make a mistake like sometimes this card says like if you feel this urge to like do something or to take some sort of step or to take a leap of faith um take that wild chance it's a wild card you don't know what could happen but it, it's worth seeing the potential it's worth seeing where this goes um you know better to say oh well then what if that kind of vibe but so yeah um we'll see how this plays out we'll pull more cards i'm gonna pull you some animal cards as well to see kind of the vibes of what you are dealing with or how you are showing up in november anything that you need to look out for um things that maybe you need to focus on show me clearly what do my capricorns need to know hmm. show me clearly what's going on yeah there's something again about like dreams that you've been having almost like you've been dreaming this is like a of a person it's like you're dreaming of them or like you're dreaming of this conversation or like you're like subconsciously preparing yourself for something show me clearly what's going on for capricorn well that that is a lot but we're gonna take it we have the firefly with the nightingale mm -hmm, with the raccoon and then the cosmic egg so there's something you can't hide from capricorn there's something you can't hide from yeah hummingbird see there's this vibe of returning to something or like making a, a u-turn or coming back around with a new perspective here dragonfly so you've gained more information or more informations to come and then it seems like once you receive this maybe it's just a change in your perspective or maybe it's you've been doing some thinking or you've been processing a few things here but i see you're returning to something with a new approach or with a new new attitude new energy something within you has shifted but so there's something you can't hide or you can't run away from you can't avoid here with the raccoon to the cosmic egg i know that sounds so dramatic you can't hide you can't run away i don't mean it like that but it's just like it shows that there is some sort of completion of a cycle that maybe you've been avoiding or i feel like it's a conversation some of y'all have been avoiding having um and so you've been kind of just trying to distract yourself or you know procrastinate the inevitable but spirit says okay november is time to wrap this up november is time to just face this head on come out of the shadows step into the light face this head on speak on this address this um yeah there's something here that needs to be expressed here with the nightingale this is a card of speech this is a card of communication it's a card of honesty <laughs> like literally so spirit is really wanting you to use your voice it's it's kind of like with the firefly to the nightingale it's like there's this hiccup vibe like it's like interruptions or disruptions or when you try to like speak it's almost like your own voice stops or cuts out or like fades out or it's just like you bite your tongue or you're stuttering like with these energies because firefly is kind of like hot cold hot cold little bursts of energy first psh, 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 you know like little flashes or you get like you get these little urges to like say something you got an idea of like how you would approach or what you're thinking or how this is going to play out or like you know you get these little glimpses of the right words or what to say but then you don't follow through with it I'll, I'll, you know you are about to but then you don't so this is an energy here when the firefly comes out you need to like act on something you need to grab a hold of the energy when you're in the mood when you're in the zone grab on grab on <laughs> some of you you're kind of just like you've been waiting and waiting and sitting and sitting and waiting and waiting and it's like it's it's just time to like just grab that freaking wheel you know so yeah with the nighting gale with the nightingale the bird over here maybe you're seeing birds maybe there's a feather that you stumble upon um you do also have spirit around you too with the cosmic egg 
this does rule the crown. So there is also like activation taking place. Hmm, your mind is like opening up to something or you're becoming more open-minded to something or there's something that will open your mind or this conversation or something that you need to express or share is going to allow you to open your mind or open someone's mind. I just literally get the image of like, I don't know, I get the image of like, not a head, but just like a drawing of a head and like the mind being like open, like open-minded. Like that's the image. If I could draw it, but I'm not going to. <laughs> but yeah, I just feel like it's like take off the... Some of you, you're overthinking, like the thinking cap, like you've been really using your thinking cap, but it's like, it's time to really tap into more of your spiritual side rather than like a logical, practical side. Like just the fact that Cosmic Egg and the raccoons come on out, it's just like, there's something that you've been doubting, but you shouldn't doubt it or you shouldn't ignore like what you've been feeling or what you've been intuitively feeling is the right path or the right step to do like i don't know i feel like you're gonna have to just kind of go for it <laughs> take the leap um and just maybe even rip the band-aid off for a few of you i just heard rip the band-aid off you know so maybe that's the case you gotta rip the band-aid off anyways i do see somewhere somehow whatever the situation is for you capricorn it is coming full circle there is a completion there is this transition of change um the journey is complete, but it's not over, okay? It's not over. We just begun. We just getting started, okay? So put on your seatbelts. It's going to be a journey. All right, so let's see. Let's get into this. Show me clearly what's going on for Capricorn. Now, some of you, you are so freaking talented. I mean, not some of you. You guys are all freaking talented. What am I saying? But for some of you that are creatives or artists or singers or dancers or you know you're you have something that you're really passionate about because the firefly nightingale and the raccoon this can definitely represent someone who deserves to be seen and deserves to be known in their presence their aura their energy their gifts and their talents this is someone who's made to be in the light this is someone who's meant to shine their light this is someone who's meant for lots of great things and it's like you can't hide you can't just if you're someone like let's just say like you're a singer because this both the nightingale and the raccoon does reference like singing and music so if that's you and take it however that it may not be specific like maybe that's not what you do but there's still certain talents that you have that you haven't fully embraced or it's almost like you're afraid of your own potential for some of you you're scared of being seen it's like there's this push pull between wanting to be seen and wanting to like back away into a, a dark little corner spirit is wanting you to, to push through that to shine your freaking lights all right some of you just have stage fright all right tell me what's going on for capricorn in november 2023 what do my capricorns need to know how many is this all right we ace of swords honesty truth clarity new mindset too all right we have the queen of pentacles oh y'all gave me quite a few cards three of pentacles and the nine of wands so there's support around you there's support in your dreams there's support in your endeavors i see your hard work it is paying off although you may not be seeing it right now four of cups or you're having a hard time acknowledging the growth and the progress that you've made in your journey you are busting your ass off at something you've been busy you've been putting in the work capricorn to build some sort of stability to build a platform to build your future and i don't think you're doing this alone or spirit would say that maybe you should buddy up or team up teamwork makes the dream work right three not three <laughs> six hands can get a lot more work done than just two hands right you could build imagine if all of them were together it wouldn't be nine of wands it would be 21 wands like <laughs> like bruh okay so is that i can't even do math right now i probably did that shit yeah I, that's embarrassing whatever you know you already know i can't um three of pentacles y'all so you're building towards like your stability you're wanting to give to others you're wanting to provide for others you're definitely i'm seeing you may be really busy taking care of others or like even teaching showing people the ropes if you're like a manager or if you're like overlooking overviewing other people or you know maybe you're a teacher of some sort um but again though you have certain skills and abilities 
and talents and I feel like you could be kind of paving a path for others as well in what you do the work that you do you're very true you're very honest you're very you're very <laughs> I said berry you're very real maybe you like berries maybe you're eating some berries um but yeah there's like a lot of authenticity here that you are proud and you should be proud there's loyalty, there's commitment, there's determination. I see that you're focused in November, like straight up. Um, underneath the Four of Cups, we have temperance. So your patience is definitely, ah, yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Your patience is definitely being highlighted here. You have a lot of energy surrounding that. Um, I am seeing, though, underneath those, those energy of, like, patience and kind of just, like, sticking it out and pushing through, even if you're not seeing results instantly. It leads to a new beginning. We have the Fool. We have the fool underneath that. So I see that there is some sort of like leap, risk, initiation after taking some sort of break to like recharge, reconnect with yourself. Maybe you're needing to take a little bit of a break. Um, all right. So let's pull some more. What's going on for Capricorn? Oh, Hermit just flipped right on out. Virgo energy. Maybe you got Virgo placements or dealing with a Virgo. There is a lot of Virgo energy, astrologically speaking, right now. We do have quite a bit of Virgo vibes in the air. So that's kind of connected to this. So there's something here that, like, you may need to do a little bit of introspection on or you're reflecting on or you're trying to get some clarity on. We'll see what that's about. We'll pull some more, though. But if you're dealing with a Virgo or you got Virgo placements, a lot of Earth showing up in your reading, just saying. So you're trying to search or find the truth or get to the bottom of something. You need to follow your own path. Okay, what do we got? We got the page of swords. So you're looking for some sort of truth or answers or it's just like you could be, ugh, you could be dissecting some sort of information that you have recently found out or maybe it's a conversation that you had or you're about to have. Um, you're kind of like processing some info. We'll see what that's about justice so this may have been in libra season at the bottom we have libra energy we also have the six of swords aquarius a lot of air energy and the queen of cups page of cups yeah so i'm seeing that there's some sort of um this is doing things right you're you're really trusting your intuition here it's guiding you towards i feel like page of cups to queen of cups there's a conversation being had heavy water energy so this could be during Scorpio season, which we're in right now. Um, Ten of Wands and the Tower. So someone's feeling really... And then the Ten of Cups. We've got two tens. Someone's feeling pretty weighed down by something. I think that's what is being expressed here. Or someone's been dealing with a lot. Trying to keep it together, honestly, with the Tower and the Ten of Wands. And family matters. Maybe there's been a lot of home or drama. And whether this is you, Capricorn, this could be someone that is connected to you or someone else's energy that's external to this. Um, but there, it appears that there's someone here who's carrying a lot of pressure, a lot of burdens, a lot of shit <laughs> from family, from relation. Oh my God, we have the lovers and then we have the Ten of Pentacles and then the High Priestess. So this is something that's been going on behind the scenes. So maybe you've been doing dealing with this behind the scenes or someone that you've been dealing with where maybe, you know, they aren't telling you very much or they're kind of keeping you out of the loop here. Maybe you've been waiting, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Swords, waiting on answers, waiting on details is because someone here is really caught up in life and caught up in some shit, caught up in some, some drama. Anyways, so if that's the case, You'll probably hear about that or get details. Someone is going to spill all the tea, spill their guts out about what they're dealing with. Or basically you'll understand or you'll have new info about. Or maybe this is you, Capricorn, with a hermit. Maybe this is what you've been going through and that's why you've been kind of just like chilling in hermit mode. Kind of withdrawn or, you know, feeling not ready to step into the light just yet. Or like be known or be seen is because you're dealing with a lot of things in your personal life. And you're just trying to like push through it all and keep your shit together like that could literally be you all right give me give me a couple more cards and then we can clarify some things all right what else is going on for capricorn in november so yeah permit and the page of swords so there's some sort of clarity that is coming in or you're gonna have some sort of like shift in your perspective i'm seeing especially with that ace of swords that started off your reading i'm seeing that your mindset and the way that you're seeing 
yourself in this situation and whoever else is involved or whatever it is that you're working towards you're having a shift in your perspective or there's a big there's a big shift taking place we had the king of cups even in your emotions there's a big change in your emotions and how you're feeling about circumstances feeling pretty stable pretty grounded also king of wands i'm liking that all right anything else for capricorn feels very much like you're maturing or just taking something more serious okay page of cups see there's there's definitely there's, there's definitely something being expressed here pages are all about messengers right there's something here being expressed or discussed or um yeah, and then we have the Magician, Queen of Cups. Oh, shit, we got a pair, y'all. We have a cute little a little pair, a little couple over here. Um, Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands, Five of Wands. So there's been some, there's definitely been some disruptions between, oh, yeah, there's that Ten of Wands, Five of Wands. There's been some disruptions here. And um, unable to get the ball rolling or unable to get this match lit. There's been some... You ever, you ever, I don't know, if you know, you know. You ever try to, like, start a fire outside, you know, a little campfire, a little bonfire, but it's super windy, and you just can't get the fire to go. It just keeps blowing out. It's kind of like that, where it's just like, you really want to get this match started. You really want this fire to go, but it's just not. Or, like, it's just, the, the wood is too wet, or <laughs> it's too windy, or just, you know, so it's like you're really trying to get something started here, but there's resistance, or there's something getting in the way, or there's, like, life, or just challenges, or something's just been taking a long, long time to get off the ground, or it's been very difficult. There's been difficulties here, um, and it could be between you and another person. It could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And also Mercury energy and a little bit of fire. Actually, quite a bit of fire. So I feel like there's going to be some discussions or honesty being brought up about there. Or again, if this is relating to some sort of passion or career of yours or some sort of like, I don't know, pa like, you know, project. Again, there's been some things getting in the way that's been preventing you from lighting this match, lighting this fire. <sighs> so we'll see what that's about. We'll see how you kind of have this breakthrough. I do feel like it's possible to have a breakthrough, but it might take some time. And it's also going to require you to see things from a, like a different perspective or look at things from another angle. So Spirit is kind of forcing you into... I'm surprised the hangman isn't out here. Maybe it will come out <laughs> when we clarify. I'm like... I'm feeling... Yeah, because um, I just think that there's a need to like switch up. There's a switch of your mindset or there's a switch of information with, again, like your perception on something's changing. Oh, oh, there's the hangman. There he is. There he is. All right. Anyways, um, get clear with your intentions. How huh? this ace of swords for Capricorn? What is this clarity? What's this new perspective? Well, it definitely shakes shit up. We have the tower, Scorpio energy. Okay, I bet. Let's see. Ace of swords three of cups oh okay um two of cups ten of pentacles three of cups okay okay seven of cups at the bottom all right feel a little overwhelmed but trust yourself you know the truth oh my gosh capricorn eight of swords reverse with justice and then the seven of cups so you you see things clearly now you see things clearly. You know exactly what needs to be done. You know exactly your next approach. Or you know exactly where you and another person stand here. We have the queen. Not queen. Sorry. Why did I say? Well, we do have queen energy out here. But we have the three of cups, two of cups, and the ten of pentacles. So I'm feeling like there's a lot of support around you in friends, family, work, romance. I'm feeling like there's a lot of perspectives you can gain by like just having discussions or sharing with sharing with people what you're going through or just kind of talking to a, someone that you trust or someone that you care about or someone that like is supportive it's just going to give you a different way or different perspective on the situation that you're dealing with it's going to actually make you realize how loved and supported you you really are there's a lot of support around you there's people here who really want the best for you and so if you've been feeling kind of confused or lost or, you know, uncertain about your direction or uncertain about, you know, this next step or some sort of dream that you have, 
in November, you go from this, like, I don't know what to do about this. What am I going to do? Or what should I choose? Or how should I handle this situation? And then it's like, you already know. Or Eight of Swords, Reverse Injustice, you know, or you will soon know what the right path is, what to do. And it's the right, it's literally, like, you got this. Like, I don't know why. You just need to trust yourself, honestly. You just need to trust yourself. Um, talk about the hermit. Why is the hermit out here? I think, you know, so it's like you're taking in other people's opinions or advice or you're taking that all into consideration and then it's like, okay, recommended you go inwards. Now, take a little bit of time to reflect, look at things with this new insight, with this new perspective, new way of looking at things. Now you go inwards to look at this the overall situation and then it will help you decide what your next course of action is. Let's see. To Ace of Swords, yeah. <laughs> All right, talk about the Hermit. So you're being pushed to go inwards. Ten of Wands. Talk about the Hermit, thank you. The Queen of Pentacles reversed. Devil at the bottom. So, mm, the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles. I feel in the underneath the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Swords. Some of y'all need to watch out of self-sabotage or blocking yourself from initiating. Like, I see you could get in the way or close a door before you even walk through it. If you're not mindful, if you're not careful with the Empress, you could easily, like, disrupt it or destroy it. If you get in your own way, or if you let pride get in the way, Queen of Pentacles in the universe, if you don't take action, or if you just, like, are insecure in yourself or your decisions, sometimes Queen of Pentacles in the universe can represent someone who's just, like, not stable, not certain, doubtful of themselves, lacking, um, like, the worth, the, the guts, the confidence, like, that kind of vibe. So work with that okay just kind of continue to work through that it's also a mindset but so we have the ace of swords and then the ten of wands so i feel and then that queen of pentacles reverse is like you don't want to make the wrong choice but capricorn you got to trust yourself um you know what the right path is or like you you see the truth here you see you know what needs to be done or you know what needs to be said they're carrying there's a lot of weight that carries with this truth this truth carries a lot of weight, a lot of... It feels dense, okay? That's how I'll put it. It feels dense. You know, like a light, airy angel cake versus a super dense pound cake. It's like that. It's very dense. Whatever this truth is, it's dense. It sits It sits in your gut, okay? Um, let, let's see what this page of swords is. Cuts like a knife, okay? What is this page of swords for Capricorn? the page of swords for capricorn in november we have the knight of cups you might be making a romantic gesture to somebody oh world reversed just so it's indicating that there's some unfinished business or a cycle that's incomplete or four of cups nine of swords this is something that you've been like overthinking over analyzing and again asking other people's insight or advice or trying to you know kind of come up together with your your buddies some friends some pals and be like yo what do i do judgment and then the six of wands i see you coming out successful here or i see like i feel like um you kind of go into this you obviously you have this breakthrough you have this shift in your perspective you see the truth you know what you are gonna do or what you're gonna say or how you're gonna approach the situation but there's like this inner voice that's being like oh this is gonna go wrong or oh prepare to be disappointed or like you know you're kind of in this this shadowy fearful avoidant kind of like you know that kind of vibe right assuming the worst so that's a, that's something you got to work through i do see that's kind of like your own personal cycle that maybe you are still needing to kind of close on out but i'm seeing with the knight of cups and the world reverse there's some sort of i kind of see a cycle repeating itself capricorn be mindful 
be mindful of that or like there's a bit of this repetition this pattern especially if this is in your romantic relationships or the people that you are connected to um more of a like emotional sense right i'm kind of seeing there's like a bit of a repetition or a repetitive cycle um so maybe that's what this breakthrough is about i'm also seeing that there could be opportunity for closure or like bringing some sort of truth because we look at the world reverse there's like these masks in the corner my hair is my freaking mouth there's these masks in the corner which is telling me that there's something that's like masked or hidden or cloaked or it's like even on feelings or emotions since that's paired with the knight of cups there's something here being expressed or revealed um there's divine timing can we look into this page of cups and i gotta go Oh my god. That is a page of cups for Capricorn. Okay. So what's this what's this page of cups about? Seven of Cups. Mm. For the page of cups. Ten of Swords. Oh, and judgment okay all right eight of cups at the bottom you know this might just uh, wrap things up with a nice little bow and then you just ship it on out we have the eight of cups the devil ooh, and the king of swords reverse spirit does not want you to be blinded by something um eight of cups and the devil i honestly am seeing that you could be leaving behind something in your life or someone that isn't good for you it isn't good for you and so maybe you're ha there's a conversation you're having here and i'm kind of seeing like it just leaves you feeling more confused or i would say don't get manipulated or blindsided or like don't let someone pull the wool over your eyes here or don't let someone like like manipulate you into like wrapping you around their finger because i'm kind of saying that could be that could be the case here. We have a Queen of Swords, so this is kind of giving pair energy. Okay, what is this reading, y'all? What is this? What is this? Let me know in the comments below. Um, because I'm seeing that there's a conversation that you're having, but it's it brings you more confusion, or it just kind of like it's like you had your eyes, not your eyes, but you you had like the shift in your perspective, or you gained like a new understanding, or you know, you start to see something, you started to see things for what it was, and then it's almost like whatever this unfinished business is it kind of like re-triggers certain emotions or certain feelings or it just it brings up anxiety or it makes it just kind of the nine of cup nine of swords and the four of cups this is bad juju this is just bad energy honestly like it just it doesn't feel positive it just feels kind of like it just dragging you down a bit or a lot and then we have the ten of swords and then judgment like you know if this is causing you confusion or chaos or conflict in your life do you really want to continue this path or continue in this cycle does that does that really help you in the long run or is that you just feeding into an addictive toxic cycle that you know deep down isn't good for you you know it's kind of like if you hmm I feel like if you were to con continue to keep entertaining this, you'd be ignoring the truth. You'd be ignoring what's in front of you. All right, Capricorn, I gotta let you go. <laughs> Spirit is really wanting you to look at the reality of this. Because some of you, going back to Penelope, uh, the dream weaver, you're like focusing on the potential of what it could be instead of what it actually is. Or you're focusing on what it used to be instead of what it actually is. Like, you know, so... <sighs> Anyways, Capricorn, I wish you all the best. This was a bit of a longer reading, but I hope this helps whoever resonates or whoever this reading is for. I really appreciate you. I'm sending you lots of love, good energy your way. I'm gonna let you go. Bye.